We have in previous videos touched on proof of ownership, specifically referring to all risks and household content, contents items. This for some reason is a very touchy subject to many clients. If you are claiming for an item worth thousands of rands from your insurer, do we believe it is reasonable for your insurer to request some form of ownership? Remember, most insurers work on the premise of trust but verify. If only we lived in a society where insurance fraud was not rife, would insurers never need it to validate claims? So we need to agree that fraud is a realistic threat to insurers, for which they need to put processes and procedures in place in mitigating such risk. As such, will the burden of proof be on the insured in proving their claim? Let us first unpack proof of purchase, proof of ownership and quantum. Proof of purchase is the original invoice that indicates the date, price and item purchased from a merchant. This is by far the best proof that can be supplied to your insurer since it confirms everything the insurer might require in validating and quantifying your loss. It is therefore ideal to archive purchase invoices on items of value should you need to call upon them later. Proof of ownership simply means any piece of evidence that confirms that you own said item. This can be in the form of a photo, video, manuals or regional boxes. The problem with this is although it might offer proof of ownership, depending on its origin, does it not always prove quantum? Quantum in layman's terms simply means value. Say for example you can supply a photo of your 55 inch LG television. The problem is pricing a 55 inch LG ranges from 9,999 to 21,999. So although the photo might prove ownership, does it not confirm the specific model you owned? The quantum amount is therefore still unknown and your insurer will most likely identify you by replacing you with an entry or a middle of the road LG television. For specifics on jewellery items, please refer to our video we made specifically on jewellery with the heading how to make sure your jewellery is correctly covered. Item values and age always comes into the debate when proof of purchase and or ownership comes up. There is once again never a hard and fast rule on these items, but items above 5,000 and or less than two years old would generally be fair and reasonable for your insurer to ask for proof of purchase. In other words, the original invoice. If the item is older than two years but of significant value, would your insurer still have probable cause in requesting some form of ownership? Key takeaways from this video are, remember that it is your responsibility in proving your insurance claim. Two, your insurer is in the fullest right, but within reason in requesting proof of ownership on items claimed for. The best advice to take from this video are, do regular inventories of your household contents and all risk items, which includes taking photos of high-end goods, make notes of the make, model and serial number, and save any high-valued items invoices as soon as they are purchased. Make sure you save them on a digital platform in the cloud or in a vault of some sort, allowing for easy access whenever you might need it. This can also be used for storing all photos and notes on items owned. We appreciate this might all take time, but assure you it will make the future claims process seamless along with ensuring that you are appropriately identified.